all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so friends i remember one time i told you that come across a wrong person in life your life is ruined maybe you came across a guy you chat and afterwards get married to him you believed in him come to find out he was a wrong man your life is ruined or for example you ladies that are on online dating apps searching for love you always go around to ask for an advice from different people if you come across a wrong person who will mislead you who will advise you wrongly your life is doomed completely guys that's why when you come to me for an advice i don't jump into a conclusion because i know if i mislead you if i advise you wrongly then i am going to destroy your life if you will take my advice and that takes us to our day's video our day's video is going to be a story time we have a very beautiful online dating success love story of a ugandan lady 25 years of age who found love on online dating apps with a guy from switzerland but guys before i jump into our today's video if you are on online dating apps searching for the one searching for the white man searching for any man of any color to get married watch this story till the end because you're going to learn a lot of things first from Lola's past love relationship experience, then her challenges that she faced while she was on online dating apps, till when she found the one, she had some challenges too, and that's when she came to me for an advice. And I am so, so happy. I am proudly to say that I was of a help because if I gave her a wrong advice, I couldn't have been here telling you today's success love story guys that is why i am telling you today's video is the real deal grab a glass of wine a glass of water some popcorns learn and enjoy this love story because it's so so interesting so friends i know everyone has got a past because i told you we have got a lot to learn from lola's past love relationship experience it is good for us to dig deep <laughs> into her past so that we can learn but another thing is that lola's past relationship experience has got a lot of afro cinema <laughs> yes lola tells us was in a relationship with a ugandan guy but this guy wasn't living in uganda was living in america because he works there i know right now you're like then how did they get to know each other lola tells us was connected to this ugandan guy who lives in america by a friend on facebook so they started chatting on facebook and after that they exchanged whatsapp numbers started their relationship so friends lola tells us as she was chatting with that ugandan guy who lives in america she was doing a business had a small shop of utensils and the place where she was staying she had only one room tells us could do everything in that one room <laughs> i can relate to my life guys i also was staying in one room we had a bathroom inside yes but we could share with other tenants <laughs> i'll see if i can get a photo of my room those days and put it here <laughs> so that you can see it sometimes guys i always enjoy showing you my journey so that you can get inspired so lola too was staying in one room could do everything there cook there sleep there <laughs> literally everything so as she continued the relationship with this ugandan guy after seven months this guy was like lola i want you to upgrade go to a very beautiful 
apartment so friends lola was very very happy that she's going to upgrade who doesn't like to upgrade guys <laughs> everyone likes to upgrade the problem is money <laughs> so lola had to upgrade and moved to a very beautiful apartment this guy was paying for the rent of that apartment her life was really really good at that time and her business was doing good also so friends after nine months of communicating this guy was ready to go to uganda meet lola but we should remember that the guy is from uganda has got a family in uganda the only new thing to him was lola so lola was very very excited and the guy too was so excited but the day of his arrival lola did not go to the airport to pick him because the relatives of the guy were at the airport waiting for him he told lola i am going to come see you tomorrow because she was very very in love with this guy and had spent lots of time without any man so she really wanted to see him be with him so badly the next day came this guy went to see lola guess where their first appointment was <laughs> <laughs> of course at lola's place they were so so happy to see each other they hugged they kissed you know lovers <laughs> something that is very very funny about their first meeting this guy came with his suitcase <laughs> it's the first meeting but he came to stay lola was very very okay with it tells us it showed that the guy had come for her so that they can spend time together so this guy stayed three weeks in uganda with lola was able to introduce lola to one of his brother in those three weeks in uganda lola did not see that as a red flag it was okay for her she was like at least i know one of his brother you know my brother in law <laughs> So three weeks ended and this guy returned to America. Everything continued very well. This guy could spoil Lola a lot, could send her lots, lots of money. Lola's life really changed completely. She upgraded tells us her friends could call her boss babe i think there is another story i shared of a lady who used to get lots of money from the boyfriend but did not invest that money so lola too did not invest that money could use the money to spoil friends could use that money to travel different places <laughs> go to zanzibar go to diani mombasa beautiful places in uganda that is where her money could go if a friend could have a birthday then she could make sure throws really a beautiful expensive birthday party if she could have a friend who is pregnant then lola could throw a very big baby shower party <laughs> but the money was coming from that ugandan boyfriend so lola kept on spending money anyhow as long as the money was coming in lola was okay <laughs> so friends after one year of dating this guy returned to uganda and went with lola bought a land told her that this is where we are going to build our house and i want you to be supervising the constructors all the money of the construction everything needed i am going to be sending that money to you imagine guys from one room to a big house because they were building a very big big house so lola was so so happy kept on thanking god to bring that man in her life and yes he could send money of the construction even the constructors of their house knew that lola was their madame <laughs> so their relationship continued and that was one year and a half and this guy kept on spoiling lola even moved her to another richest neighborhood lola was really a boss babe <laughs> so after two years of their relationship afro cinema <laughs> begins lola tells us this guy started showing her character development he started acting weird sometimes lola could call the guy could not pick and at that time guys covid started lola lost her business so was depending on this guy a hundred percent her life was depending on him kept on sending money to lola 
and even paying the rent but he was acting very very strange because sometimes he would just disappear and when lola calls he could think that lola wants money so he could send money without even talking to her so what this guy was doing was exact thing that i told you guys some men on online dating apps will send you money just to keep you quiet don't ask lots of questions so if i send you money you should listen to me i should be the one commanding the relationship which is very very bad never accept to be put in such kind of a situation friends everything continued like that this guy sending money sometimes talking to her and it was approaching christmas lola tells us and then they agreed that they are going to spend christmas together christmas approached but this guy did not come told her oh it is work i cannot come be with you this christmas maybe let's meet new year so lola spent the christmas days alone and then two days before new year this guy told lola come to the airport to pick me later in the evening. Lola went to the airport and when she arrived, then saw the boyfriend coming with his suitcases, but something was so, so strange about those suitcases. <laughs> Cause they didn't have those tags that they put, you know, when you travel, they didn't have anything like that. The way the guy looked, it's like, he did not travel that day. You know, when you travel that long, you arrive very, very tired. You know, someone who has traveled a long distance. Yeah, but this guy did not look like that. <laughs> and you're going to find out why Afro cinema. Oh my God. I don't know what is wrong with men. Men, men, or oh men. So they went home, spent New Year together. Everything was very, very good. But after a week, this guy was like, I have to return to America. I have got lots of work to do. So Lola was like, okay, she was happy because they had really good moments together that New Year. So after a week, this boyfriend of Lola returned to America. Lola received a call from one of the constructors who told her, how comes your boyfriend came yesterday with another woman? Are you guys not together anymore? Lola was like, no, my boyfriend is in America. The guy told her, no, he came yesterday and introduced us to another woman. Lola was very, very shocked. She panicked and called the brother of the boyfriend. The brother defended the boyfriend, denied everything and told her he is in America. <laughs> Lola started calling him he was not available at all and yes during all that week he could only send messages wasn't talking to Lola on the phone <laughs> oh my god so the truth is this guy was in Uganda of first December <laughs> He faked everything, even going to the airport to say that I have arrived today. The guy was in Uganda for more than three weeks with another woman. So after finding out the truth that the guy was cheating on her, she got very, very disappointed. But again, still wanted this guy in her life because he was the only source of income at that moment. So this guy begged for forgiveness and she forgave him. They continued the relationship. Again, he started acting very, very weird. She tried to talk to him, ask him what is going on, what's the problem. Then this guy decided to confess. And this shocked Lola very, very much. Can you guess what that confession is all about? please comment below in the comment section. So this guy told Lola, I am married. Even the lady that I came with in Uganda <laughs> to the new house is not my wife. I have a wife here in America. Lola started crying when she heard the news that the guy is married. You know, a guy that you knew is going to marry you, a guy that you knew you're going to move to the new house together it hurts guys i'm telling you it's so so heartbreaking because when you love a man he's yours so imagining that he is married to another woman he will never be yours oh my god it is something that is so so hard to accept guys have you ever been desperate at that moment 
Lola was so, so desperate. Doesn't have a job. There is COVID. She's asking for jobs everywhere, not finding any. And the guy is leaving her. The guy that she depended on. She tells us, imagine yourself on the fifth floor and then you fall till the ground. Not that you fall the fourth floor. No, you fall to the ground. That was her fall. So friends, what Lola did, remember, she is living in the rich neighborhood. But at that time, she had to change her life because the place where she was living had remained only three months contract of the rent. She's lucky the landlord was so understanding, found someone and then gave Lola those three months money so that she can go and start her new life. So she had to return to her one room life, but tells us could lock herself inside the house. Never wanted to go out, never wanted to talk to the friends because she was feeling very, very embarrassed. Because coming from, you know, that rich life, you're a boss babe, and then fall, return to one room, it was embarrassment for her. So she started looking for the ways to go out of Uganda because had nothing left in Uganda for her. That's when she came across someone who helped her and found her a job in the Middle East. Katal. She went and started working as a maid, but her first family was not good at all. <laughs> they started treating her very bad. Had kids who could mistreat her too, so it was too much for her and decided to talk to the agency. Told the agency, you know what? I am returning to Uganda. I cannot take this anymore. Either look for me for another family. So the agency had to look for another family, but Lola tells us the second family was very different from the first family. This family was good. They treated her so good. They were very kind. They could give her time to rest compared to the first family where she could walk all day without resting. So friends, before I continue, even if you have a guy who spoils you, you have a guy who takes care of you, remember to save, that is number one. But second, keep on looking for a job. Even if you have lost a job or you have lost your business, keep trying to look for something to do. Because if this guy leaves you, you are going to suffer. It is very good to make sure that you are on that safer side you are independent. So her job life with the second family was going very, very well. She was treated so nicely. So one time she was on YouTube, then came across this interracial couple that said they met on Tinder. So took Tinder and started her online dating journey. The reason why she decided to try online dating apps is because of her past relationship experience with that Ugandan guy who was living in America. So she was like, no, I want to change. Right now, I want to find a white man to marry me. So she kept on searching for her dream man, but at the same time was very, very lucky. Found a job in one of the telephone company as a customer care. Lola tells us after five months of being on Tinder, came across this Spanish guy. The guy was really, really good. The guy seemed so genuine because after chatting with her for a month, the guy was ready to invite Lola to Spain. So this guy was 35 years of age, but told Lola, I am going to pay for your trip. Don't worry. And immediately they started the visa preparations. When they were done with the documents, Lola went to the embassy for her visa. And luckily she got the visa, went to Spain. When she arrived, Afro Cinema <laughs> starts because Lola found a very, very big surprise for her. Can you guess what that surprise was? <laughs> <laughs> so when she arrived, everything was good, was so happy to meet this Spanish boyfriend and the boyfriend was very, very happy to see Lola. Those as arrived on Wednesday, then the boyfriend told her on Saturday he's going to throw a party at his house for her and then invite all of his friends 
as an introduction. Lola was happy but kind of shy because tells us she is an introvert. <laughs> so meeting all those people, the friends, as the boyfriend said, ah, it really made her a bit nervous. <laughs> thinking about it but she accepted so saturday came and this guy really threw a very big party because he's one of those rich kids so the friends came and yes he made an introduction that this is my girlfriend her name is lola <laughs> and everyone was happy for them they enjoyed the party and when the party ended remained only one guy so lola asked the boyfriend is your friend going to sleep here the boyfriend was like yes he's gonna sleep here and i have another surprise for you tonight <laughs> guess the surprise guys guess it guess what that surprise is <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this online dating world guys be very careful please please watch the red flags and i pray more and more ladies discover my channel because most ladies have been making lots of mistakes they have been ignoring the red flags but it's not that they intend to ignore them it's because they don't have any idea of what a red flag is so please you who know what a red flag is don't ignore the red flags please please because you can find yourself in big big trouble so guys time to go to bed came and lola went to the room when lola entered the room the boyfriend came but he did not come alone he came with the other guy so at that time lola started getting very scared and was like oh my god am i going to be wrecked because what is this guy doing in this room so a lot of things were running into her mind she started shaking the boyfriend saw that and told lola calm down calm down don't worry i want us to play this game because i've always dreamed to do this i've never done this before so because you are here i love you so much i want us to do this together so you who is watching this video can you guess what that game is <laughs> so these men started taking off their clothes and told to undress it was like no i am not ready to do this the guy told her no you are going to do that i love you so much i want us to do this game together I had no choice remember <laughs> she's in a new country and she is under that guy he's someone who invited her so had to follow everything that this guy was telling her so she undressed and the other guy started touching the boyfriend lola tells us the things that she was seeing is like she was dreaming so after seeing the guy touching the boyfriend couldn't stand anymore had to go to the bathroom <laughs> So when she went to the bathroom she stayed there and the guy was calling her please return back here so when she returned she found another surprise the other guy had boyfriend's eggplant in his mouth busy <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is the darkest part of online dating apps Lola couldn't stand what she was seeing. She started crying a lot to an extent the boyfriend had to tell the other guy to stop and then started talking to Lola, telling her to accept the situation if it is okay with her to try it again the next morning. But at that time, they should just go to bed. Lola told him, no, I am not going to do these games, but something I can say a bit good about this Spanish guy wasn't forcing Lola. Because if she had come across those aggressive men, I think things could have gone worse. The boyfriend told her, don't worry if you are not ready to do the game. That's okay. I love you. It's not that I like the guy. No, it's just a game I wanted us to play. So it ended like that. Lola stayed two weeks in Spain and then returned to Uganda. The Spanish guy wanted to continue the relationship with Lola, but Lola was done. So something very funny about this Spanish boyfriend of Lola, <laughs> when she sent me the photo, I saw the guy, you know, took photo with Lola, but he was like, 
<laughs> if you see a guy doing such kind of things in his photos you know something is not right the guy is not straight okay if you want to go into adventures then you can date such kind of a guy but if it's not your thing it's a red flag don't even try it so the relationship between lola and the spanish guy ended lola had to take a break from dating apps from dating anyone took time for herself love herself and pray to god to bring the right person in her life so added started reading relationship books to help her open her eyes more so after taking a break youtube video where i was talking about online dating apps so from there she got other dating apps to try and was ready to start again her online dating journey so she joined that dating app that i'm going to be sharing with you and that is where lola found the one but the journey wasn't easy at all and you're gonna find out right now what happened <laughs> so after joining that dating app two weeks and a half had passed and then got a message of a guy from switzerland lola tells us his first message was so respectful the guy looked very very decent looked like a good guy after chatting for one week on that dating app this guy requested for whatsapp number they moved to whatsapp they could chat and this guy could also call lola every single day lola tells us everything was flowing never felt like she's trying so hard they clicked they vibed there was chemistry between them so this was november 2021 they kept on knowing each other but there was one big problem and that problem made lola look for me on instagram lola came to me on my instagram wrote me a dm and was like bella i've been chatting with this guy he's from switzerland everything is going very very well but the problem is he does not want to talk on a video call how many ladies are facing this <laughs> i think many even last time there is a comment i received of someone who has been chatting with a guy for six months without a video call guys never accept that i'm telling you at the time you exchange phone numbers when you chat if it is two days don't accept the third day to go without seeing whom you are dealing with what if this person that is claiming to be a man is a woman what if this guy that told you is 40 years he is in his 70s who knows you have to see him so lola when told me that the guy doesn't want to do video calls i was like listen lola please make sure you talk on a video call with this guy if he loves you if everything that he has been telling you is true he should make an effort to talk to you on a video call but i did not tell lola to block the guy i told you i don't always jump into a conclusion but i asked lola why does this guy doesn't want to talk to you on a video call lola was like the guy says he is very shy <laughs> and another problem he lives in a workplace apartment with other people so there is no privacy that is why he does not want to talk to me on a video call i told lola how are you going to confirm this guy is real you have to see him there is no excuse <laughs> still you are a girlfriend there is no need for him to go and be like hey i'm talking to my girlfriend no he can take his phone and talk to you in a place where he thinks there is you know a bit of privacy but video call is a must insist 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 if he refuses then i'm telling you you will have to end that relationship so told lola if this guy is shy eventually you're going to be the wife so if he really wants to create a concrete relationship with you he has to face you <laughs> he has to see you so don't take any excuses <laughs> lola told me okay bella i am going to do as you have advised me so three days passed 
Lola returned to me and was like, Bella, you can't believe I've talked to him on a video call. Everything went super good. Yes, he was shy, but we did a video call. She also sent me a screenshot of their video call and I was so, so happy. She was like, Bella, thank you so much for your advice. And he has promised to keep making more video calls. So friends, you see, I've been telling you if a guy is really into you, if a guy really wants to be with you, he loves you, he's going to make that video call. <laughs> he will keep all the excuses aside and talk to you because he does not want to lose you. Let's keep on with this beautiful love story. So they kept on talking, making video calls, and they planned on how to meet. So this guy was like, I am coming to Uganda to meet you for the first time so that you can spend together christmas holidays lola was super super happy excited they planned everything but when december came happened some complications this guy could not travel anymore go see lola in uganda he got so disappointed but they kept on communicating tells us they kept on talking the whole christmas even new year they were on the phone this is love if you remember i told you europeans have this culture of staying together during christmas holidays so if this guy had a wife i'm telling you he couldn't be on the phone on christmas and even new year he could have disappeared but he did not because he was genuine and he really loved lola so i remember lola told me about the boyfriend not to go and she was like bella i pray to god next year christmas i be in europe i was like girl amen to your prayers <laughs> and god is good guys because their relationship continued then started talking about how to meet again but this time jonas the boyfriend's name is jonas jonas told her i want to invite you to switzerland and their plan was she goes end august this year to switzerland but before she travels i know you guys want to know if this guy was asking for nude photos if this guy was spoiling her the guy wasn't asking for nude photos he was super super respectful no dirty talks and when it comes to spoiling yes he was spoiling lola sending her money sending her gifts even when it was christmas this guy sent her christmas gifts so she went through the visa process is such a lucky lady never came across challenges when it comes to visa application <laughs> she always gets her visa she went to switzerland end august this year and when she arrived jonas was very very happy to see her even the mother-in-law was so happy she tells us her mother-in-law is such a loving lady so on her second day in switzerland jonas proposed again because he had proposed before on a video call <laughs> so he had to put it into actions put a ring on it <laughs> yeah and she was super super happy and then they went through a wedding process got married september this year congratulations girl <laughs> so as i'm talking right now she is still in switzerland but we return november to uganda because there are some documents needed for her stay in switzerland so friends what do we learn from this story we learn a lot of things that i have talked already but another thing never jump into a conclusion if you're chatting with a guy you don't understand always look for help but look for help from right people because when you come across a wrong person everything will be destroyed yes because if i was the wrong person i don't think right now lola could be married also guys don't rush to block these guys on online dating apps no first find out the solution <laughs> if you can solve that problem if it is not solvable then that's when you block the guy or you just end the relationship and move 
forward. The big question, which dating app did Lola meet Jonas? They met on F dating. I'm going to write it down there because most of you have been like Bella. We don't know how to write F dating. <laughs> yeah. So I will write it down so that you can see. Go search for it and try your luck. For countries that F dating doesn't work, we can't do anything try other dating apps that works in your country friends i know this video has been so long thank you so much for your time god bless you please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i would like to know watch my other videos too they are super good subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.